Hello and welcome back to Cud Buzz with Galen. Cud Buzz. We're doing. What are we doing? It's been a while. It's been a minute. I'm learning to play. All right. Well, um, we can very easily check what our current task is by hitting the Q button. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Oh, glorious Shekina. Uh, we could go make a pilgrimage to the Six Day Stilt. We could travel to the historical site of Mimor Granary. Or we could, um... Hmm. We didn't do Red Rock yet. This seems like a thing we should do. Is that... well... I think we did travel to Red Rock, all... but I, you might have died. Maybe you didn't. I can't remember now. I... this the holes? We went to the... The those holes. are those are the rust wells. Uh, no, Red Rock is the uh, other. Then dungeon. no, we've we've never been. Hmm. We've only been to the wells to get wires. Yeah. And get good. Get good. We did. Did we get good? I think we got better. Slightly better than bad. Better than bad. It's good. Get good, G U D, or get bad, B E D. Bad. That's bad. You just spelled bad. Yeah, I did. Just spelled bed. All right, let's uh, let's leave this dialogue. And um, what's the first thing we do? Panic. Yeah. Well, I'm hungry, so I need to make camp. I probably can't make camp inside this guy's house. Well, um, so there's already a campsite in this tile, and generally speaking, when you try and make camp, uh, when there's already one, it'll just ask you if you want to go to that camp. You can try. Uh, and in fact, this will be a good learning experience. Try and, try and make one. He won't mind if you try. You gotta select where you want to plunk it down. It might just let you, which is fine. I was gonna... I was gonna show you. Uh, it did let you. It, just, it did just let you. Alright, let's, let's not actually use that for a sec. Um, hit, uh, hit your backspace for point of interest. We want to go to the clay oven. We're going to learn we're going to learn a new thing here. It'll be fun. All right, so let's interact with the clay oven. All right, so what makes this different is that it actually comes equipped with a um like pre-made recipe for uh fresh apple mats, which is the staple food of Jopa where you are. Um, so let's let's go ahead and eat some fresh apple mats. I eat the meal. You eat the meal. I start to metabolize the meal, gaining the following effect for the rest of the day. Plus 10% to natural healing rate. You thirst at half rate. And that's a very good that's... because that's literally saving us money. All right. So now we can uh, we can leave the thing we've learned here honestly is just that um like every village comes with a staple meal uh jopas is pretty good uh, there are more interesting and, and more dramatic ones but that one's not terrible um but yeah so we want to go to red rock um we can uh, head to the overworld map to see if we can uh, spot it. Uh, generally speaking, I mean, I would al almost always recommend, like, when people are starting CUD anew, like, for the first time. Um, you can actually look on this map as well. You can hit the L key and then, like, look around at different tiles, including, you know, Jopa, uh, the rest, the rust wells that we went to. Um, including that historic site that's sitting in the center of the rust wells. But uh, that'll uh, that gives you a good idea or hint of like where what certain things are, um, including red rock. Like you can you can just hover over red rock and know hey that's where I have to go to complete my next quest. I mean with the look command. Sorry. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, there's Red Rock. There's Red Rock. A naturally red and outcropping of stone juts out of the salted crag. Crag. 
so right. um why don't we head over there let's uh go and head over to red rock and explore oh yeah i mean uh, generally I found some ruins we generally speaking always want to check out some ruins the a good reason to check out some ruins is that it puts it on your map officially like you can always check it out and then leave immediately and then there will be a map pin that you can I come back to later. Found the lateral. The shush big simple bilateral, no. I note yeah. the location of the shush bilateral in the location ruins section of my journal. As long as you're not in immediate danger, you can always just leave immediately. Then I will. You will. Remember, you can go diag. Oh, he's done it. Uh. Moving diagonal is a alien concept I have found to a lot of people. All right. I have finished the step. Travel to Red Rock of the quest. What's eating the water vine? It's got an exclamation mark in there too, so you got to be like, "What's eating the water vine?" You gotta like it's, you gotta expl exclaim it. All right, Hello, so Mr. Goat. we are we are in uh, the topsoil part of Red Rock. We could do an explore, but there are dangers lurking. It's fine. Exploring would be fine. Goat isn't gonna hurt you, and not unless you give them a reason to. All right. So we're hoping to um, find a, a staircase leading down. All right. So do I want to do the uh, the auto look thing or? Yeah. Want, want, go ahead. It'll it'll stop if your character sees something dangerous. The only reason I am I usually hesitate to recommend uh, getting used to auto explore. It's uh, it's the ins key or zero on your numpad. Oh, my num locks off. That's why it didn't work. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, the only reason I hesitate recommending getting used to it is because sometimes there are creatures that can kill you just by seeing them. And also, sometimes your character isn't super good Ooh. about recognizing danger. It is a kudzu. We don't really care about the kudzu. Unfortunately, your character is now going to stop repeatedly, so you might want to just like turn, go go north around that corner so that you don't see it anymore, and then you can continue auto exploring. There you go. There's our staircase. Do... What stopped me this time? Uh, you see a kudzu oh, to your north. More kudzu. It's everywhere. I, I did how do I know how, how do I know when trees are are good uh as opposed to violent empty empty oh um you'll know a witchwood bark it has something to harvest if it has red red leaves oh those got those have yellow leaves I will say a harvestable kudzu or oh. sorry a harvestable witchwood bark is is quite rare can we actually um, hit X for a moment yep. and uh, go to your skills? I wish I remembered the hotkey for just going to skills, but we're just going to go to skills. We have 200 skill points. Um, I've got 208. 208. Sure. Well, the... <laughs> um, all right. I, what I'd like to see... Uh, can you hit the minus key on your numpad so you can collapse all this? Yeah. Let's go to go to customs and folklore. Wee. And then uh, hit right or I guess uh, six is it? Yeah, there you go. Okay, so um, tactful and trash divining are both excellent uh, skills. And now I, I, all I wanted to know was that if, if we had the um, what do you call it? the the prerequisites to get them we don't um so i'm not i'm not smart enough you're not smart enough you may become smart enough 
Uh, you do naturally grow all of your ability scores over time, but we can also, if we want, uh, throw some points at intelligence. It's just something I tend to, to do, but that's only because intelligence kind of gates a lot of late game stuff. Mm. All right. Mm. Hmm. What is our... Let's go back to character sheet for a moment. I just want to have a quick mo look. Okay, we got good strength. Agility, toughness, or intelligence is actually fine. We did a good thing by not dump making anything a dump stat. Except for maybe willpower. You went for the ego over willpower, which is pretty good. It's um, just the kind of man Batman is, you know? Yeah, Batman does have uh, an ego problem. Alright, we're good here. Good to familiarize mm -hmm. ourselves with our character occasionally. Especially if we haven't played for like two weeks. <laughs> All right, so you mean we can uh, do an auto explore? I don't think that that spider will hurt you unless a certain circumstance comes about. It seems to be fighting that kudzu. Yeah, there is a lot of infighting in cud. The the spider has won. I won't let you auto explore. Uh, uh, weirdly, spiders are hostile, but they only attack you uh, under certain circumstances. He, l he left a little bit of webbing there. Ow. Oh. You destroyed that kudzu. Alright. Nothing, nothing too much to worry about here. Okay, the spider has decided to uh, throw throw. Uh, what do spiders have? Not claws. Oh, there's a lot going on down this hallway. Throw legs. That is a centipede. Centipedes tend to be pretty tough in the early game, but I think you could probably take it. You can always check by looking at it. Well, never mind. It's dead already. No, no need to. Well, eat. it was also being hit by a little a little guy, a, a snapjaw scavenger. He was getting hit. He's just a little guy that was attacking the centipede. He's just a little guy. Just a bug fighting a little guy. That's right. Right. What do we what do we got on that blood splatter? We got a bloody wet snapjaw corpse. Doesn't look like there's anything interesting there. Wait, I'm looking at myself. You are looking at I... yourself. Uh What's the what's to look down? What's the? Um, I I generally never. I mean, you can uh, use a plus or minus on the numpad. There you go. Wow. Wow. Glowing wow. silk was spun to a capture spiral and, and mounted on a series of bridge threads. A lot of these uh, little flavor texts I have actually never read. I should. They're good. Caves of good. He's done uh, it. That's a salt pile. There we go. Oh, I'm just dragging water everywhere. Yeah, you do tend to, to kind of slop around. Slosh around oh, and I could. killed another guy. You did. Oh, I want to look at the... Hit to F1 to unlock it. It's uh, It's set to, like, snap to interesting things. Oh, um, it's a corpse. It is a corpse. Not much to care about there. It should be good to hit hit a, the auto explore. I don't expect uh, anything super dangerous on this first floor. We got another centipede. I think um, it's the snapjaw scavenger that that's caught my attention. You see a snapjaw scavenger to the west. It's true. Your character does seem to only care about the, the snapjaw scavenger, not the centipede. I'm wondering Centipede's if you have busy. a ranged weapon. Uh, I think we sold the only thing I had. No. Nah. You have some arrows. Right, I did pick up arrow once. Right. Uh... Let's check your equipment. If you back out and hit E, I think is, uh... Is your equipment? I'm just gonna press nine. All right, that works too. Yeah, we don't have a missile weapon. 
that'll be something we want to fix we could pick up a bow probably from that archer snapjaw that we're seeing to our west the snapjaw a scavenger mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they tend to have one um... we've got plenty of meds and we've also got some uh injectors Oh yeah, you still have that jewel encrusted club. We gotta sell that at some point. Alright. Let's let's get him. Let's beat up a centipede. A giant one. Yeah, oh my god. Like your your damage is actually really absurd right now because your penetration is absurd because they spawned you with a nanonumatic jackhammer. It's just like, uh, like uh, that, that blows my mind, honestly. A woven tunic might actually be better than what you've got. Um, if you hit space and then go to manual equip, it'll tell you what you've got. Do I want to take all this stuff or do I want to... Actually, well, my... you don't want to take the snapjaw corpse. So if you, I th right. think if you hit take all, it will unfortunately take the snapjaw corpses. So I'll do it one at a time. We're going to do it one at a time live. Yet. I want these daggers. Actually, you do, and I'll tell you why in a bit. There's a there's can I a throw good. Them? Um, I think you can, but no, there's a good meta reason why you want to take them. All right. Now I want to equip the bow. Um, we could try. Yeah, give it a go. You can do it from this menu if you go to right missile weapon, and then just hit space. You should be provided a list of uh yeah potential candidates basically there you go you have a short bow equipped this is very good making progress oh there's so many little guys this uh there's actually a little guy camp like uh the next level down and um there's gonna be a lot of little guys you should be good to take them. Got Might him. even be on this Got floor. Him. Got him. Uh, do I want to? Um... I'm surprised we don't. Um. Is this better? Do I want this? Let me. Let's have a look at your your equipment again. Sorry, I keep making you do that. No, it's not better. What you have is currently much better. Right, actually. said it is better. Yeah, I got a little map. You got a little map, and it uh, also it points out um, hostiles as well. That red dot is that that kudzu to your immediate east. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. Well, dead end. You you do have a nanomatic check hammer. You could just like bulldoze through the whole dungeon. This is fantastic. This is honestly some uh, pretty good advanced play. There you go. I love that. I love that you just Kool-Aided through that whole business. Oh, yes. Get out of here, man. Come on. Got some kudzu. You could hit it with the bow. You want to try using the bow? Yes. All right, hit F. F. Yeah, you got it. And then uh, F again or space. You killed it on your first try. I like that. You critically hit it with the wooden arrow. That's not a easy I... thing. You're just going to have to accept I'm... I'm... The Batman is very good. The Batman should get some uh, shurikens. Or some kind of batarang. The batarang. Um... I'm worried about my jackhammer. Is it ever is I is there ever like a fix button? You made me worry that kudzu will make it just break at some point. Um, at a certain point, if if that ever happens, basically it'll say it's rusted and it will no longer be usable. However, if it's only rusted, then it we can repair it and then we'll want to go and put it somewhere safe until we get some um, fix it all gel. Um, eh, but like. After that, if we're if you're still holding on to something that's rusted and still getting attacked by kudzu, there's a chance it would disintegrate, which would be bad for business. 
we're good for now we you haven't rolled unlucky but it's not a bad thing to be concerned about it's a, it's a good thing to be aware of what is that on our left i don't think i've ever seen that is it just a spider it is just a spider right. spider bat a horny chameleon it is it is quite horned it's wet and it's horned chameleon is actually a fairly dangerous creature for you this early in the game salt encrusted cave spider um... let's um hit five on your numpad i just want to see it, are any of these things fighting each other because that seed spitter is probably going to try and shoot at you and then it might hit the uh, corned chameleon corned chameleon oh my god <laughs> uh, the old corn Hermelian yeah. is perfect little guy. Um, I pressed five. Nothing happened. Hit it again. Hit it a couple times. Yeah, that uh, just exactly what I, we wanted to happen happened. I think. Well, at the very least, the corn Hermelian is uh, fighting the 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 spat and the biter. This is very good content. Yeah, just like, um, let's just like see this play out. No matter who loses, we win. Bat died. The bat the spiders make the move. Spider is making a move on the, on the Hemelium. Oh, nice. The, the chameleon got killed by the seed spitter. That was like best case scenario. And now the spider is maybe fighting the seed spitter. Doesn't look like it. Okay, we can mm, move in there it, now. I think it died. Yeah. Now, um, you might want to shoot the seed spitter with your bow. Because that's a long way to travel. It failed. It failed. We need to reload. It's already fully loaded. Okay, we want to we wanna fire again. Yeah, we can keep... Keep firing until we run out of arrows. Basically, I don't suspect we'll we have a good chance of hitting it. it that is a pretty long shot. It's it's winning. Um. It's still better to tr keep trying. Oh, you're moving in. All right. Cause like, if you're hurt enough, you can always turn around the corner and stop getting hit. Whereas if you move in there and we take too much damage, then you're kind of committed. All right, we're out of arrows. So we may as well, we can may as well commit, I guess. It is injured, but that doesn't mean much. It's going to be hitting you. Just don't do this too quickly. Because if it gets a lucky hit, you're going to want to heal yourself. There we go. You're good. Ooh. Alright. Um So we're looking for another staircase down. We wanna go deeper. What's hitting me now? Uh the bloody salty cave spider critically hits oh, you for one damage. Spiders. You leveled up. Nice. And you got one extra uh plus one attribute to all of your attributes. Plus one to That's all. good. I might be smart enough for one of those things now. You might be. I think you needed 19 and 21. I was at 18, so that got me to 19. Ooh. Uh, remind me. Yeah. What's the what's the what's the chill and heal button? Uh, that would be tilde on your keyboard. Below escape. Right. Yeah. There you go. But you can't do it with a kudzu. But there's in your... a kudzu. There is a kudzu. Ain't that just the way? And a. Thing. You can turn around the corner and then heal. That would be good play. As long as you don't see them, then you, you're good to heal. There you go. Chill and heal. I'm a little bit worried. No, oh, no, you're good. Jilted lover can... I've, I've been killed by a jilted lover exactly once. And it, it's it's embarrassing. <laughs> Ooh, a pot. A pot and a staircase. And a and a. That's a statue. Something, something's going on there. That's a statue. 
We can look at it. Probably has something cool to say. Does the Does the clay pitcher anything? Yeah, yeah. Hit let hit interact on it actually. There's there could be something cool in it. You just uh, hit the direction. There you go. Yeah, it's got wine in it. Go ahead and uh, collect that liquid. I'm gonna get it. Oh, if you, you want get me to collect it, liquid or just get it? Uh, well, you can get it. If you get it, you're picking up the clay pitcher, which is heavier than a uh, a water skin. But if you collect it, then your dude will just automatically pour it into a water skin. Oh, you never mind. I just oh, got the, I got oh, the water. You hit the you hit the the shortcut key. I did I did the other thing. Yes. Okay, there you go. So yeah, you've got some wine. Wine is very valuable. It's like triple or quadruple the the price of water. Um, and uh, something you'll get to know in this game is that water in itself is actually not really worth its own weight. Look at that. That's a... An flipping antidote two again. Yo. A significant event from the life of the ancient sultan. Antidote, ant antidote two. While traveling near anti oh, oh. <laughs> antidote to bad in Granary District, Memoir. Antidote 2 was captured by bandits. He murdered their leader by allowing her to continue living in a universe where heat death is inevitable and was hence, hence, henceforth known as Snowflake Shouter. Excellent. I love that. Right. Snowflake uh, Shouter. Write it down. Uh, flowers do anything for me or are they just nice? They're just nice. Well... Let's proceed down. Down we go into the depths of Red Rock. Uh, there's a lot of croissants on the ground. <laughs> the croissants. Yeah, I see it actually. I I see the I see how they look like croissants. They're uh, and... they're they're little rocks. Okay. Oh, there's one of them. Flipping fish up there. Yeah. I, they shouldn't be aggressive. We do want to kill that jilted lover. I mean, we don't have to now, I suppose, but jilted lover oh. is just like free XP, basically. Solid. I guess it's only 12 XP. Uh, the reason I tend to, um, like, Go for Jill's Jill lovers is because they have a chance of dropping a very rare ingredient What's that cat? It is a cat shouldn't be aggressive. It's I think it's a ray cat It is a ray cat uh... You can chat with it soft growling <laughs> You can pet it Oh well. Okay well, I'll take a look at him. The small kitty and the glassy fibers of her coat bend the light of faraway stars into strange loops. That's nice. He's phosphorescent. He is phosphorescent. Bite claw claw. <laughs> That's what they do. Hey, good kitty. Unless it's my kitty and then it also screams. He's got a little fish. I wonder if that's his fish. We could do an auto explore. Uh, okay. Centipede. Ooh. Immediate centipede. It's wet and giant. It's what's, running what's away. What's that? What's happening? What's that happening? Uh, you see the gen you can always check the log and it, it'll I'm probably I answer some questions. It says, um, the, ex the exclamation mark that's that's right. Oh, so, he's overwhelmed by terror, right? Uh, so you, do you see the the plant to your immediate north? It might uh, not look like a plant, sure. Um, that is a I'm forgetting the name, but it's probably in the log somewhere. Doesn't look like it. You can look at it, but it, it's basically, um, it's a very scary potato. It's a dread, dread root. root. Yeah, it's a scary potato. It's 
shoots do throb and upsetting staccato. So um, basically, occasionally that dread root will like hum and um, potentially frighten either you or any surrounding creatures. If you he's got a weird artifact, I want it. Oh yeah, we do. It's probably a grenade. Yeah, it's on the ground. It's two pounds. I'm betting it's a grenade. You've already taken it. Sometimes you don't. You don't even have to like um, go into get menus. Your character will just automatically take good things. Okay. Um, do we want to check out what that is? It's a weird artifact. It's in your artifact section. Uh, B. I would like to look at it. We can, we can, it's a puzzling artifact. So, um, here's the fun thing about technology and CUD, is that your character doesn't really understand any of it, at least not immediately. We can mm -hmm. examine it, and that will hopefully make it so that we know what it is. And it is, in fact, a stun rod. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's not even powered, so basically the joke, the the snap jaw was just using it as a club. All right. It's not a terrible just... find. It's a good thing Hold to hand to over it. to archive, but we already did that. Okay. All right, we're good. Okay. Okay, dokey. Moving. Moving on. I guess grenades are only one pound. Look at all the dread tubers. How dreadful. What's this guy doing? What's this guy steal? He's got another stun rod. Uh, and overalls, more important. Let us, let us continue. We've got a lot of, uh, there's a lot of pools of water in this area. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna kill this guy. You you go Man. for it. Kill him. With gusto. He's dead. He is dead. Uh, uh do I want another? Sunrods sell for something, but I don't know if they're uh is like I don't think they're worth their weight necessarily. I don't have an active like knowledge memory of like what everything is worth, unfortunately. Oh. It's another seed spitter. Fortunately, we caught them in like the best case scenario, which is we were right in front of them, so they don't have much ta a chance to do anything. There's more little guys. They're making their way downtown. What did that guy have? He had uh, nothing, as far as I could tell. Because that wet cloth overall was dropped by the original little guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I just automatically picked up that stun rod, maybe. Uh, you might have. It says you... It did say you take the wet stun rod. It is, I guess, a good idea to take because uh, down the road we can actually disassemble those for spare parts. A box. It's probably got something inside. We could also make use of that um, camp. That you're Ooh, what's There's, that thing? That is a, a wet amoeba, or I guess just giant amoeba. Wet giant amoeba. Both. Those tend to be tough, but I think you're good to take it. I say they're tough um, this early in the game, but... You dazed it, you stunned it, you're stunning it, you perma-stunned it, it's dead. Solid. You have? Did you have anything? No, they just dropped slime. They're not even, like, fully uh, intelligent. They're, like, barely sentient. You pass by a dread root, some trash, right. and a chest. If you hit interact and in uh, the direction, you should be able to just open it. There you go. Got some arrows and a bandage. That is not a good chest. 
I like arrows. I like arrows. And literally one arrow. <laughs> yeah. One more than I had before. So uh, here's here's something fun. Um, you see those dread tubers on the right that are brown, like they've got a little. Mm -hmm. Those are harvestable. Yeah. Ooh, another box. They're right. Uh, and... Okay. I don't know if you have uh, harvesting and gathering though. Um, if you do, when you walk over it, you'll just automatically harvest them. You don't have to actually do anything. No, we don't have do harvesting. Not. We don't get the scary potatoes. Aw, oh, darn. Ooh, this is better. Mm, not by much, though. You can take all that if you want. I do. Nice. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that's fine, actually. <laughs> nice. Nice use of uh, striking diagonally. We got another scavenger. Which is good because they tend to carry some arrows. We're going to want to rest pretty soon. Oof. Ouch. They dropped uh, a copper nugget. Which is good. You, take you, it. You've already taken it, yeah. And two arrows. Um, copper nuggets are kind of like trade goods. They are, literally are trade goods in this world. So, like, uh, I was kind of mentioning before, you know, you'll find out that water is not really worth its weight because it's quite heavy for how much you need to actually buy something. So, like, you know, eventually you're gonna find you. You really want to rest to, until healed, because you're you're yeah. There you go. Um, you'll find like, you know, armor, um, that is like worth a thousand drams of water. So carrying a thousand drams of water is not really feasible. So you'll want to basically trade things that are worth a lot of water, but aren't very heavy, like genuinely gold or jewels or, uh, and also like, strangely enough, daggers are a great, um, ways of carrying water that isn't as heavy as water. That guy is tough. You might want to shoot him a couple times before he gets within melee range. Since you did pick up some ammo. Can I hit him at this angle? You have a small low chance, but you still have a chance, so it'd be worth taking it. You did miss, but that's fine. It's worth taking shots like that. All right, so he's in front of you. He's dazed. He's stunned. Good stuff. He's only worth 12 XP, but those guys can, can actually do some pretty good damage, given an opportunity. I took a star apple. A star apple is a fruit. Yes. Star apple. Ooh. Now that's probably a grenade. I'm going to take all. Yeah, go for it. Having extra water skins is always good. There's probably some more wine in that uh, container. Uh, Go. Are you looking for the inventory? I am. Hit the seven key if you want. I, I, yep. You got it. Weird artifact. Like to examine. Ooh, it's a fungus. A fungicide. All right. Oh, they have they have their own color now. That's new. See how it's pink? They didn't used to be pink before. All grenades were were basically like a cyan blue for the longest time. Mmm. So you I bet you could tell me what a fungicide grenade is good for. Having fun. Yeah, they're a fun time. But also killing mushrooms, I would assume. Yeah. That would be correct. There's a fungus. Funguses. I haven't. There's not honestly not too many fungus enemies in Cud, but there are fungus, and they can be a problem. There you go. And uh, nice in a in a quality of life sense. Um, it automatically puts that in the same container that 
already has wine. Okay. Statue of Bell. Is praying to Bell get me anything? I don't think so, but you can anyway. Sort of like petting the cats. Great. All right. Yeah. Cool room. It is a cool room. That is a that is a pretty unique room. Red Rock was uh I mean not super recently but in the grand scheme of things and the grand like uh picture of cud was updated fairly recently to be a bit more interesting and have more stuff in it can't remember uh, if we've got a hat hit that equip manual yeah. and then we can see if you're wearing one. Oh, you're wearing a headlamp you don't need a headlamp You've got night vision. So I do want to wear a cap? Yeah, it, it provides a little bit of added protection. Do I want this sword? The sword is nine pounds and it's not very valuable. So I would I would not recommend it. And your weapon is far better. I think. I think it is. All right. Okay. All right. All right. The daggers end up being very good um, trade goods because they're only one pound, but they're actually worth like four drams each or something. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. <laughs> Pet every cat. Uh, what happens if I trade with a cat? Go ahead and find out. Not much. Oh. No. Yeah, it would, it would be nice if the, if uh, creatures had like, you know, like a cat had some dead mice or something that you could trade for. Uh, is it worth trying to explore the rest of this floor or just keep going? It's kind of up to you. I mean, you may get lucky and find another artifact. I have a funny feeling the dungeon's gonna end. Oh, I mean, there what? is something on the ground there. Something died Fresh. in here. Fresh corpse. You can uh, hit the uh, plus and minus to see the actual thing there. There's something there. Ooh, a buckler. And an umber frock. Okay. It's not good. Not for you anyway. So I don't want a buckler and, and, a, and a cool frock? The buckler is actually kind of nice. You could take the buckler. Uh, fun fact. So, <laughs> this is really funny to me. Um, I, I have never heard basically one... Um, like unified explanation for how shields work and though i am like pretty sure i know how they work um i've heard conflicting basically de like descriptions of how they're supposed to work um the prevailing opinion is that um for bucklers you can wear them on your arm or you can equip them in your hand and Every time you are attacked, there's a chance that it will provide some extra armor. Um, you can throw it on your arm, and it will actually help you. Um, yeah, we've got we've got two arms that are currently unequipped, or one arm. Yeah, you've got something on your other arm. Where, oh yeah, I've got my scanning bracelet. Your scanning bracelet. So go ahead and throw the buckler on there. It is negative one to your DV, which kind of sucks, but having extra AV is always better. Okay. I can I can give you a breakdown of what that means, but I I sense that you will not care. How dare! Why don't we actually break there? That's a good place to stop because we're about to enter the next floor. 
Okay. And we'll stop for the next episode. I got a shield and I pet some cats. You did. Very, you know, made a lot of progress, honestly. Um, do you have anything to add to the end of the episode? Nope. All right. Uh, if you're enjoying this uh, series, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Oh.